Holy crap, guys. I don't know what to do. That's not happening now. And this water's deep, real deep, like waist deep, maybe even more. Maybe it's not as bad as what it looks like. Look at that, holy shit. Hey everyone, it's Adam, coming at you once again. And can you guess just where I may be? I am back in the Green Mountains. I am at, I am right now on the Stratton Pond Trail. Heading over towards, obviously, Stratton Pond. And if you remember, forget whether it was last year or the year before, Kurt and I did this section of trail and went over into the Lybrook Wilderness. Well, my plans have completely changed. Last year at this time, I was up in the White Mountains. I did the Pemi Loop. And I had, it was really hard, but really enjoyable afterwards. The sights, the sounds, the views, everything. So, I made plans to go back up there again, which today is Sunday. I should have been there yesterday. I was gonna leave real early in the morning, drive up there, and I originally wanted to do a presidential traverse, but that's, that uh, did not wasn't going to work out, so then I was going to go and do the Pemi Loop again, uh, but, in a, a different route. I was going to do like a, a semi pen me, they call it. All right, where were we? I was uh, doing, I had planned on doing a presidential traverse. That wasn't going to work out weather wise, so I was going to do a, what they call a semi pen me, which is go up halfway and you stay at the 13 falls and then do Franconia Ridge and come back down. But I was watching the weather, watching, 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 and I didn't decide to come here until this morning, pretty much. It's actually late. It's like probably around almost two o'clock. Uh, I was watching the weather, watching the weather, and it just was not clearing up. They were calling for highs in the low 20s, uh, 60 to 80 mile an hour winds, and fr uh, fr uh, the freeze line, was dropping down to like 3,000 feet. And uh, no, I just wanted to, wanted to. I'm, I'm honestly upset at the fact that I couldn't go. I just, I had a call it at the last minute and uh, I really, really debated on where to come. It was either gonna be up here or I was gonna go through hike the Loyal Sock Trail. Uh, this trail that I'm on right now, this is the Stratton Mountain Trail. It is uh, 3.7 to the pond. Uh, it's supposed to be a very easy leisure trail. I was going to go and summit Stratton again and check out the fire tower. Uh, two things are stopping me. One, you can probably hear the wind blowing. And two, 
that would be eight miles and it's two o'clock and it gets dark between 6 30 7 o'clock it i don't want to be rolling in the camp after dark so i figured i'll hike into stratton pond whether i stay on the front side or the back side is yet to be determined and uh we could go from there i'm planning on jumping on the at doing quite a few miles up and then turning around and coming back pretty much so this is going to be pretty much an out and back style trip uh, may make a few loops here and there yeah this was a lot of this was spur of the, spur of the moment i left the house at 8 30 this morning i was up at six and uh that's when i well i've been looking at the green mountains over the past couple days after watching the weather uh thinking i'm gonna come out here so it wasn't out of the question so i was trip planning both scenarios now one thing i don't know if you guys noticed at all i'm sporting a new pack uh i picked up an osprey exos 48 liter which is going to be my my go-to all-around pack uh cold weather pack winter pack uh, I've been using that Deuter 36 liter all summer and it's funny I got this 48 and I was like it almost seems like it's too big which in all actuality it really does because <laughs> I filled it until it was full which is a number one backpacking mistake. All right, we made it to the Stratton Pond access. There's the AT. Let's head down here. This is Stratton Pond up in Vermont on the Long Trail and the Appalachian Trail. And uh, this wind is starting to blow right now. But hey, let me throw this in there. If you're not a subscriber, I know that a lot of you are not, please subscribe. You never know what adventures I may be on. I don't even know what adventures I go on. <laughs> it just happens, so. All right, everyone. Got my camp pretty much all set up. That's just my stuff sitting right there. I am right behind the Strength Pond shelter, the AT shelter right here. And uh, I just wanted to go over quick my sleep system and tent setup just to show you guys I kept my, meaning to want to do it, and I kept forgetting. But this is my Marmot Tungsten 1P uh, tent. It's uh, not too bad. I like it. Uh, it. It looks small, but you'd be surprised on how much room you actually have in this thing. Especially with the vestibule and stuff like that. All right, let's open this up. And I'll show you what I have in here. This is my 20 degree Loco Libre downfilled, <laughs> downfilled uh, quilt. It's actually my hammock quilt. I have here my Sea to Summit uh, reactor thermolite liner um, that's so I don't get my bags all funky I have a sea to summit sleeping pad here I forget which one it is but it's a uh, it's a uh, an expensive one I know that for sure and my sea to summit pillow and that's it right there but this is the tent setup right now I mean it looks tight but like I could fit my backpack in here my shoes I don't like to leave anything outside the tent because of uh, mice and stuff like that. I'll leave my trekking poles out there, but everything else I could fit right in here. And I have slept in here in the rain with everything, and I was just fine, completely comfy. Here's the bear, bear box located just on the trail from the shelter. There's the privy right there, you could see it. So we'll be putting our stuff in that tonight. Hey everyone, I don't know if you can see me. Let's see. Yeah, maybe that helped. <laughs> well, was uh, there's quite a few people here at the shelter area, at Stratton Pond Shelter, and uh, was up 
talking enough for a little while. I just ate supper a little bit ago, and now I'm ready to hit the sack. So we'll catch you in the morning and see what goes on. Later. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it was a good night. Slept really well. It rained out. I'm trying to be quiet because there's a lot of people in the shelter over here. So I just made made some coffee and uh, had a apple strudel strudel for breakfast. And uh, there I am. It was a fantastic night. I slept really well. Didn't really get cold at all. So it worked out pretty well. I'm going to have to talk about that a little bit later. I'll let you guys know. So on uh, my setup and how it worked out. So, all right, let me get packed up here. And we'll hit the trail soon. Hello, everybody. We are finally on the trail. Had a little bit of a rain delay this morning. It's a little bit late. I think it's close to 10 o'clock. Oh, let me see here. It's quarter to 10. So not too much of a rain delay. It's still raining, but not as hard as what it was. Most of it's just dripping off the trees right now. Uh, had a fantastic night sleeping. Like I said earlier, I was trying to stay quiet because there was quite a few people at the shelter area and I was camped right behind it. But it was a good night. I slept really well, slept really warm. Uh, you know, a few, not, a few times throughout the night, the quilt would come off and I'd get a little chilly and have to reset it. But that, other than that, it was pretty good. Uh, I repacked my bag this morning and put my tent inside my pack. So now I, uh, it's a lot better, definitely. Uh, I can feel it, the tent on the outside, it was acting like a cantilever and putting a lot of pressure on my shoulders, which it seems like I eliminated that for the most part. So that's pretty good. But I'm heading northbound on the AT right now on the Appalachian Trail. And we are, I'm hoping to get up to Prospect Rock Rocks today. And then I'm gonna loop back down on the Branch Pond, uh, Branch Pond Trail. Oh, I just slid right there. And stay out in the Lybrook Wilderness again. Probably around the same area that Kurt and I stayed last year. So, we'll see how it goes. I'll bring it back. When it stops raining. It's supposed to stop. It's supposed to get sunny this afternoon. So hopefully by the time I get to Prospect Rocks, we have a view. Well, we are entering the Lybrook Wilderness. Awesome. <laughs> oh man, I couldn't wait to get back here. Although I'm on the other side of it from where we were last time. But still going to be good. Pretty nice. There was a, a really cool bridge back over there that went over the brook, but uh, there was a big group of people that were sitting by it, so I didn't want to take any video. <laughs> Going good so far, still raining. Not a clue what time it is, not a clue how far I've gone. So, I'm taking my time, really watching my footing because of all the wet roots and wet rocks. Don't need a twisted ankle or twisting knee out here right now. Well, FYI, it's still raining out. <laughs> oh, man, it's wet. It's miserable, but I'm actually not that bad. I stopped to uh, just grab a snack, drink some water, and get this uh, pack off me for a little bit. And uh, we just came out of the Lybrook Wilderness. Uh, we're on the other side of it. Uh, I wanna head up to Prospect Rock. I'm gonna check out that view. We're gonna turn around, come back here, and we're gonna take this trail right here, which is Big Branch Trail. And that's gonna take us back towards down towards uh, Bourne Pond, Douglas Shelter. And we'll see how far we get and then the, decide how far we wanna go until uh, we set camp up next. But there it is, Lybrook Wilderness. Beautiful area, really nice, really nice. All right, I had to plug my camera in, apparently, the cold must have killed it because it was at like 50% before. Unless I happen to not turn it off at some point, I don't know. But there's a 
stop back there. We just left the Lybrook Wilderness and uh, headed up to Prospect Rock right now. Uh, there's a big group of people in front of me. Uh, they were behind me for a good portion and uh, I let them pass me as I was taking a break. So uh, yeah, they're up ahead of me. Hopefully they don't clog up Prospect Rock. I get some good views and pictures of it. That'd be pretty cool. What do you mean by I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'll keep moving with it and then he can stay like that too. This Prospect Rock. All right, that was Prospect Rock. We were just at, I figured there'd be a few people, not 30. <laughs> but I got a little bit of video of it, as you guys saw, and uh, got a few pictures taken. Maybe I'll throw them in if, if they're good. I had the one girl there. She was doing glamour shots, I guess you could say. <laughs> it's funny, you're click, 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 and she's like moving her head all different ways and stuff like that. I'm just like, okay. But anyway. <laughs> We, uh, I might throw in, I had them take a couple pictures of me, so we'll see how they came out. I probably look like a moron, like typically. Uh, so we are headed now southbound back on the AT, and then we're gonna hit that uh, Branch Pond Trail and head down to Bourne Pond. And we'll see where we end up. All right, we are back at the Lybrook Wilderness sign, and uh, instead of continuing Hold on here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let me put these here. All right. Instead of continuing south on, on the AT, we are going this way on the uh, Branch Pond Trail towards uh, the Douglas Shelter. And once we get to the Douglas Shelter, I'm going to uh, take my pack off, sit for a little bit. I already had a snack, so I'm not really hungry, but maybe I will have something else by the time we get there. It's only a half a mile. But you could definitely tell that this trail is a lot less traveled than, than this trail. <laughs> All right, we are at the Douglas Shelter. Kind of small, typical uh, small AT style shelter, Adirondack style, I guess you could say. Kind of dark in here. I'm not going to dig out my light, but... Not too shabby. Oh, looks like someone might have some alcohol here. Denatured alcohol. Nice. So, maps. Good things. What's this? That's a picture of somebody. I don't know. Not too bad. You can chill out here for a little bit, take a little break, sit down for a good 20 minutes or so, and uh, go from there. <laughs> It, I'll tell you what, it's uh, you, uh, they have bridges built all the way to here for like the past 200 yards because it's just pure swamp. So I can't imagine here in the summertime during bug season, I bet you it's friggin' ferocious with friggin' mosquitoes. But anyway, all right, let's, uh, I'm gonna put this thing on charge and uh, relax for a few. All right, well, I was here for a little while. I had to go and uh, visit the privy. Pretty nice, I'll stick a picture in for you so you can see it. But I uh, was here for a little while and uh, grabbed a snack, ate some tuna, and uh, now we are on our way. It's about, I think it's almost two o'clock. And uh, three miles to Bourne Pond, so. Yeah, it's five to two, it's 154. So uh, <clears throat> three miles to Bourne Pond. I'll see what time it is once we get there and then we'll decide whether we're gonna keep on going or stay there for this evening. Just what I want to walk through, especially after it raining all day. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's go. I wonder how many ticks I'm going to pick up in here. Thought I heard something walking. Probably my own footsteps echoing. Curious to see if I'll see a moose. If I do, I know Kurt's going to be so mad at me. <laughs> that was his goal last time we were up here. He wanted to see a moose. 
We'll see what happens. Branch Pond, north and south. Northbourne Pond tenting area. Well, that's a place that we haven't seen yet. So we are going to take a gander. I still plan on camping where, uh, well, I'm gonna get down there and take a break where Kurt and I camped uh, last year. But we're gonna take a walk over here and check out these sites, see how they are. It's really nice, you never know, maybe we'll stay here. Well, this is the area here. Somebody was making a, a bed, it looks like. I wonder if you could put a tent down here somewhere. And it's nice, but it's not as good as the other spot, I think. take a walk down. I wonder if we can see Stratton from here. Beautiful. You can't see Stratton. It's right there. That sucks. Really nice though. All right, yeah, this is, uh, and it's nice, but nothing to write home about, really. I've been in nicer spots. Let's get up here, grab my poles, and I think it's another half a mile around the pond to those other sites. So we'll see how that goes. So this is the place that me and Kurt camped. <laughs> Revegetarian, re vegetation, regeneration area. Well, that sucks. You know why? Because somebody had a big, huge. If you remember, they had that big, huge uh, shelter built here. That sucks. We're gonna go sit there anyway. We're gonna not gonna camp. We'll just relax for a little bit. Area closed. I'm pretty sure this is where we camped. I'm starting to second guess myself. Yes, it was. There's that big rock down there where we were sitting last time. Yeah, this was where we camped. Oh, well, there's Bourne Pond. And there's Stratton Mountain. Such a shame that they closed this campsite. Oh well, it'll be open again in a couple years, hopefully. Well, once again, I pretty much uh, changed my mind. I'm uh, doing a different route. I am taking the Stratton Pond Trail through the Lybrook Wilderness and I am planning on going to camp at the uh, tent sites at Stratton Pond, which is on the other side of the lake. Uh, yeah, I just figured that way in the morning, it's a straight shot out to the car, like four miles. So it won't be too bad. Uh, I did come across a gentleman. He's a trail maintainer out here. I had to look at the camera, I'm sorry. Uh, and I was talking to him for a little bit and he's telling me about all these different spots to go check out and stuff like that. And he's like, <laughs> it's funny. He's like, oh, there's an old carriage road over there in the woods. He goes, you can't see it anymore, but it's there if you could follow it. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Apparently there's an old school bus out here in the woods somewhere. Uh, there's an old defunct shelter that like is not maintained that I guess a trail doesn't even go to anymore. He said, that's out here. He's like, oh yeah, they're awesome spots to go stay, stay at. Go find them. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... Uh, go with what I know and what the GPS shows. I don't feel like getting lost out here in the Lybrook wilderness for a, a week. I was just thinking, I don't remember this part, walking through these uh, little pines like this. Had to have done it. Same trail that we took last time. Pretty neat nonetheless. <laughs>
Holy crap, guys. I don't know what to do. Look at Look at this. If you guys remember, Kurt and I walked up the riverbank here, crossed right over there, and came back around. That's not happening now. There's another one right there. And this water is deep, real deep, like waist deep, maybe even more. And I did. I it said it is passable. I looked on. I looked on the app, and it says it's passable. But I gotta find. I'm thinking. I'm thinking walking across that one there somehow. I don't know. Let's see how this works. I'm just gonna keep the camera running for right now because I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, and we're at the Lybrook Wilderness. There is another trail that looks like it goes over this way. Let's see. It's funny because nobody's been on this trail for a while because there's a lot of cobwebs and stuff. All right. Oh man. Oh man. And this is also the area where the uh, the microburst happened quite a few years ago. If you're ever uh, read about that, there was a microburst in here and it destroyed this area. I mean, this trail was impassable for years. And uh, they finally got it passable and then beavers took it over. <laughs> All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick you guys in my chest strap here and you can see if I fall in. Let's go. Pick this up like this, right there. Can you see? Let's see what happens. It looks like people have been walking across here, so maybe it's not as bad as what it looks like. Look at that, holy shit. Oh, I'm gonna try to adjust that a little bit down. Oh man. And now see a fucking big ass water snake come through or something like this. Holy cow. You know, I saw the trail alert and I thought, ah, it's not going to be that bad. Look at this. I'm gonna take a picture here so I could send it. Let's do a selfie now. All right. Just gotta watch my step. Ooh. See that? They said people have been getting across here with dry feet, so hopefully I'm one of them. If they could bring the trail down there, look at Shelly, you'd hop right across there without any issues. If you could see that, I don't know, can you see that? This is all doings of beavers. Holy shnikes. I'm not shutting this off. The trail's right there. It goes in right there. So we have to cross this thing too. But then I see another deep hole over there. So we'll see what happens. Ah. Okay. That's done. Look, look at there's a blaze on the tree right there.
Oh, frog just went. Okay. Uh, oh, this tree is not very sturdy. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay. I plant my poles and down we go. Okay. Now we got to get across here. How? I have to go up that way or right down there. Crap, I got to go back across that now. There's the there's the trail right there. Okay. Let's see how we can do this. That's deep. That's real deep right there. So, oh yeah, looks like there are people are going across there. Okay, I got to get back. Oh man, I got to get back across this thing. Look at that tree's not very sturdy. Oh man. Oh. Okay. All right, did that. Now, can I step on that? Oh God. No, no. That's too too much of a a jump. Let's get back up here. Okay. Anyone want some giardia? Okay. They said handy footwork will get you across this. Oh man. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Oh yeah, I just completely missed that. Completely missed all the signs to go this way. Okay. Looks like they're going on this side. I hope this tree is solid because it's like three feet deep right here. Whew. All right, made it to there. I don't know if you got that. Was that freaking hairy? Ooh. That's not the kind of stuff you want to come across in wilderness areas. There's just too much freaking to chance right there. But we did it though. All right. I'm gonna need a break after that. Holy cow. Talk about dicey. All right, let's go. All right, here's the current situation. <laughs> I uh, I get to the camp, uh, the uh, Stratton View camp, and as I'm looking around, it starts downpouring. So I ran over, I, I had to get water, and I, I did find a site up on the hill. I was actually walking back down to my bag when it happened. So uh, I went and got water, the water, water, whatever. And I went and got water, and came running back up the hill, hurry up, threw the tent up real quick, and just shoved everything under the vestibule. I hurry up, got my mat pumped up, and now I'm sitting here and just taking a breath. <laughs> I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. I really want something hot, and then I'm gonna cook some kind of hot meal. One thing that sucks from all this rain, the water's like turbid, so I'm glad I'm boiling it. That's for sure. All right, we'll get to you in a bit. Good morning, everybody. It doesn't feel like it got as cold as what they were calling for. And uh, yeah, slept pretty good last night. Woke up around five and uh, just kind of laid here in the tent and was watching videos on my phone <laughs> until it, came, it got to be daylight. 
but uh, slept really good. Uh, the tent is a mess because of all the rain last night and uh, just kind of scrambling. As you can see, there's my, there's my backpack, my <clears throat> jacket, and got a, my apex, got a bottle of water there. Just, just everything is all over the place. My wet pants are out there. My shoes and my wet pack cover are out there. That was all covered underneath the vestibule, so. <clears throat> it's gonna be fun putting all that stuff on this morning. <laughs> but, anyways, for <clears throat> for the most part, it was a great night. I had a, had a slept well, and uh, not bad. Now I just heated up some water, and uh, time to make a little bit of coffee. Yes, yes, yes. Some go go juice. Today is Folgers. I don't have my spoon with me. That's down in my food bag, so I have to kind of just uh, give it a swirl. It'll be fine. Too hot to drink right now. I don't want to burn my face off, so. All right. Uh, let me try to get moving here a little bit, and uh, we'll get back to you in a bit. Hey guys, one thing I wanted to tell you about is uh, if you don't have one and you enjoy the outdoors, these this Thermalite, Sea to Summer Thermalite reactor, it's like this silk stuff. What a difference that makes in sleeping in the outdoors. I can't believe it. I don't know I went this long without one. Yeah, they're a little pricey right off the bat, but man, does it make everything, it just makes your quilts, it makes everything feel so much softer. I don't mean to get geeky on you or anything like that, but <laughs> it's definitely a huge difference that it makes sleeping wise. I love it. It's it's super thin. You can practically see through it, but man, it, it like, I wouldn't say it adds 10 degrees like what they talk about and stuff like that, but it just makes everything so much more comfortable. So still working on my coffee here and, uh, yeah, can't wait to take a walk down and check out the lake. Oh, good morning, everybody. Just came down here to the pond. I was walking down here and I stepped on that board right there and my feet went up over my head and fell flat on my back. So I'm uh, in a little bit of pain right now. Uh, I don't think I heard anything, but it was more of an ego downer than anything <laughs> oh man scared the shit out of me more than anything holy crap it scared they uh, scared me more than it hurt me i just wanted to come here and check out stratton mountain i don't know if you can see the fire tower at the top there the sun just starting to peek over the mountain there the loons were just over here talking be awesome if I was able to see them. It looks like my GoPro arm is bent or something. Uh, it because this went flying. This was in my hand. It completely went flying as soon as I stepped on that board. Look at the fog. Oh, there's the sun just coming up over the hill now. Look at is that fantastic or what? So apparently it got close to freezing. I didn't feel that cold, but apparently it got close to freezing. If it's everything is all frosty and icy and stuff like that i mean look at the frost right there on the ground you can see the boards they're all frosty oh. <laughs> like i said that scared the crap out of me i went Phew. my as soon as i stepped out it was just there was no stopping it whatsoever look at the sun oh that's awesome that we caught the sunrise coming up over the mountain look at that All right, well, I'm going to go up and grab my food bag and uh, make some breakfast. My stomach's growling a little bit. I must be hungry, so 
All right, we'll catch you in a few. Well, got camp all cleaned up here, all packed up. I'm just trying to talk myself into uh, slinging the pack back on. <laughs> really don't want to do it, but it's an easy just under five miles out of here, so shouldn't be too bad. Another two hours, should be back at the car. So, yeah, I guess let's get a move on it. All right, I'm a little nervous because of that board that I slipped on earlier and went flat on my back. I have to cross this. Oh, I have to cross this. And, uh, yeah, uh, I can still I can see it is. looks like it's a little bit icy. So I'm not going to carry my camera across there. <laughs> you guys aren't going to watch me go across. I'm going to take it very, very easily. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Okay, <laughs> I'm across. Whew. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Since I fell this morning, I uh, <laughs> on those boards, and I saw they were still frosty. That's a little, a uh, little nerve wracking to say the least. But anyway, all right, we are back here on the trail. I'm gonna keep on going. All right, everyone, we are back at the trail junction where we started. Stratton Pond Trailhead, which is where I'm parked. That's the Lybrook Trail, Stratton View Access. That's where I just came from. And down there is Stratton Pond Access and the LT, uh, AT, and the uh, the uh, shelter area, which I just came from because I had to go visit the privy. TMI, I know, but anyway. Probably not really going to really take any video on this trail. You've already seen it. So, with that said, let's see if I can make this work. And like that, we are back at the car. Hopefully that worked. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But, uh, awesome trip. Uh, I did uh, 20... Let's see here. Trip total was 24.2 miles. Yep. 24.2 miles. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put a picture in. But uh fantastic trip. Uh, fantastic trip. Uh it was wet yesterday. It was kind of miserable, but I I still enjoyed it no matter what. So uh anyway, if you want, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we will see you on the next adventure. Adam. <laughs>